Hello guys, this is Pavelos Korob with you again and we're continuing to create our quick learning management system uh, with Laravel 5.4. Today the topic is accessing the course and accessing the lessons because in the last video we've made it purchased, so we integrated Stripe here uh, and now we have to give access to students. But first I want to tackle some old issue, the login thing, so since we started with admin panel. Now when logging in, person goes to admin panel directly, which student shouldn't do. And currently in our routes file in routes web, all the admin panel is prevented by auth middleware, like default auth, and we need to change that. Let's create a separate admin middleware, which we will uh, apply here and we will restrict students from accessing admin panel. So uh, let's take any middleware and let's copy that as I like to do admin middleware right open it up class admin middleware what else do we need to change here right um, okay that is good guard let it be here so uh, if auth check is false then return redirect to home page that's a default auth um, and then if auth user role uh, where title equals student count is more than zero means it is a student then also redirect to home page while still logged in he will be still logged in but he won't access anything with slash admin or any middleware uh, right we will test that in a little bit so class admin middleware we need to register it in our HTTP kernel so let's call it an admin just admin middleware admin middleware class right and finally we need to change that auth to admin here in middleware now let's just refresh the page i'm logged in as student and i should be redirected to home page if everything's fine yes i'm redirected to home page still logged in uh, but i cannot access admin panel uh, and let's try to do that with admin if i log in with admin password Yep, I'm logged in as admin and I see admin panel. That's great. Next step is hiding the purchase button if I already purchased the course. So I log in as student again. And I shouldn't see that button by course because it's already available for me. So um, I think it's a course page. This one. Let's close everything else. Uh, so we have if logged in then we have a button if not then the link to registration but um, let's put another if here so if um, course students where student ID equals auth ID count equal more than zero. Hope it will work. Then basically I can access the course. Um, actually, let's put it this way. Um, <laughs> okay, let's refresh. There's a student ID course student maybe it's a user ID of course uh, user ID yep good we don't see that uh, button but we should see that for another course right so I I can still buy this course but I've already bought this course next accessing the lessons 
So I bought this course so I should access all the lessons. But uh, in another course, I should access only free lessons, right? No, wait. In this course, which I haven't bought yet, uh, only free lessons should be available here. Uh, so in our lesson blade, we should do the same check. So if um, lesson title, right, if we have more than zero, which means I bought this course, and if, and this should be lesson course, uh, else, right, okay, email from Lara Cornu, I'm attending Lara Cornu by the way in Amsterdam in a few weeks, so if anyone wants to meet me and then shake hands, I would be glad. Right, so uh, if we bought, we have a full text, else please buy the course um, please go back and buy the course and have a route courses show from what I remember and let's course ID. Okay. So this should yeah, please go back and buy the course. And the back lesson is object not found. Right, of course it's lesson course slug. course so I can buy the course um, please go back and buy the course but the exception is free lessons right so I should access free lessons uh, if I bought this one or lesson free lesson equals one and this then we should see full text and that's great. And if we go back, please go by, uh, go back and buy the course. And the final thing I want to do here is to save when the course was actually bought. Uh, in the last lesson, in the last video, we've created a database table course students. And it's just a pivot table, but uh, we didn't include timestamps in here. So I will include timestamps time here. And also, we would need to do that in a pivot table. Course PHP, it should be in students, course students with timestamps. And then it will be automatically saved. Um, actually, let's try it out. Let's buy another course. So let's buy this course, for example. Um, by the way, this email may be different from the email I've uh, registered with. Uh, it, this email is for Stripe information. Your account email may be different. Okay, so I pay $21 with testing account for Stripe, and I should be redirected to the same page with that button missing. Unknown account. Of course, I've, I've changed the migration, but I haven't run the migration. Um, Actually, I'm thinking whether to refresh the whole database. Yeah, probably we can do that. Mm. With seed. So it will roll back everything and recreate everything again. And I won't have any users except for one admin. Um, and then the courses are gone by course. I need to register again. And I register. I go back to this course, logged in already, and now I can purchase, I guess. 
that's the beauty of shooting live videos. Something goes wrong. Sometimes I do cut something where it's really bad, but not in this case. Okay, we pay and redirect should be correct. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Yay, we bought the course. And let's look at our database in course student. We have timestamps of, of today in UTC time zone. So I guess that's it for this lesson, for this video, and in the next video we will take care of the tests. So we will take care of the content in the lesson, so the content contain the tests and the quizzes and the questions and results. So we'll take care of that. See you in the next video.